All praises, all praises, all praises, all praises, all praises. Shalom, brothers and sisters, shalom. All praises to the Most High Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit. The earthly mother, sanctifying Yahweh Shai, the Holy Son. Brothers and sisters, Jews and Gentiles alike, welcome. This is your humble servant, Big Levi. And today is Thursday, January the 14th, 2021, and it's currently 12.01 p.m. This is my first day of the three days fast. Peace be with you. There will be no Jacob's trouble. Peace be with you. Peace be with all of you. We are gathering here today, brothers. We are going to pray. We are fasting and praying. Please click the like button while you are here so that other brethren could get the... um. So the other brethren can get the uh, the thing, man. Uh, the notification. Yes, brothers. So uh, today I woke up early in the well, not early in the morning, but suffer a little minor uh, spiritual attack, and I get ready and things like that, and I pray a little. Tell the Mosai. What's going on? Why is this happening? And I understand like, hey, I'm in the fast. And I got super, super hungry this morning. And I'm like, okay, they, they already started. Because um, they know we are fasting for this reason, for the destruction. And uh, they really don't like that. Okay, <laughs> so that's one of the things. So they are starting attacking. It was a minor spiritual attack, but the consequences is, is big, is major. So I'm feeling good, feeling all right. I got my brothers with me. I got my sisters with me. And brothers, as you've been seeing, you see the Mosai is moving very, very fast. The Most High does not play. He does not tarry. He does not lie. Everything that he said he's going to do, he will do it. He will do it. All right. So um, for the brothers out there uh, that fasted for today only, from sunrise, the fast is official. Ebedel is in the midst of us as a witness. Keep your... Keep your agreement, brothers. Do not break the fast. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do not break the fast. Do not break the fast, brothers. So, um... I did, I did promise the Mosai that uh, I was going to take a 40 days fast. Not 40 days and 40 night, but 40 days fast. I did say I was going to take the fast um, from uh, 40 days with um, oatmeal only. But I think I cowardly, I cowered a while, and um, I left that because I couldn't, uh, I can't enter something and I know I'm going to break it. I had a couple of stuff that I need to get uh, going, so I may have to reconsider my 40 days fast. I was planning to uh, fast 40 days in prayer, and I will eat every sunset. 
and I will eat only one food, oatmeal, and drink only water. That was the original covenant that I wanted to make. But once I look back and I'm like, man, that's, uh, that's, that's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Yes. So we have to be very, very careful. Don't take a covenant you know you're going to break, you know? So uh, after this three days fast, and I'm going to see if I can start my other 40 days fast, uh, started this Sunday, but I don't know yet. I'm going I'm to look at it. I don't know yet. Yeah, just one day at a time, one day at a time, just one day, one step at a time. It's not fasting 40 days, 40 night, 40 days on that. Yeah, it's just uh, my mind, sometimes my mind do stuff, you know, to me and, you know, I really don't want that, you know. Yes, Bridget, yes. You have to be very vigilant. You see what's going on out there, brothers? DC is, oh, brothers, DC, this is a war zone, man. This is not preparation for any security. You guys know for a fact, man, I, I, I used to, I used to do security. This is not security, man. This is for war. All right. Thank you for ancient getting there. Okay, I made a covenant that I wouldn't eat something. I broke it and I had a terrible medical situation. The most I doesn't play, he doesn't. Yeah, father doesn't play, man. That's why you really need to search your heart, man. You really don't don't take father for uh for uh, for a joke. You have to search your heart, know your weakness. Don't bring your weakness in front of father, okay. Know your heart, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's all over the state. And that's what that's what I will, my last video. Um, I call it the great fall because the most I is setting up those people for a great fall. They are going to going to go at each other's throat, man. They are. They already been doing this. They already been doing this. They are going to go at each other's throat because. I had few asleep last night. They are going to go at each other's throat. That is why we tell our people stay out of the way. And then again, you'll know there'll be a few Negroes there trying to put tech and stuff like that. Yeah, they are. They are. The most I said in the more for a great fall. If you read the book of the lost book of the of King Og, the giant. The most I set up Og and Nimrod for a big, big fall, and they fall real hard. Okay, it's pretty much the same thing. The most I would take them down, man. Okay, yeah, that's the that's the most I man. Yeah. That's the thing, brothers. I never broke a fast. Okay, I never willingly break a fast. That the, the only reason that I, I don't want to uh, um enter a covenant with the Mosai that I know I will break it. For instance, you enter a 40 days covenant with the Mosai on your third day, you break it, you go you go ahead and then wake up in the morning, you stop eating something and stuff like that. I know I can do this. You know, I stopped drinking soda 10 years ago. I never drank any soda. Last time I drank any soda, that was by accident, I believe. I, I bought a juice that I bought a drink that looked like juice, but it was soda. Yeah, I know that story. That guy ended up killing his own mother. Yeah, that's why if you can't go hardcore, you cover it with uh, water only, liquid only, you know? Don't try to do something, you know, over the top, over the top. I can't do 40 days and 40 night fasting. Why? Because I'm in the house. That's why 
anytime any of our ancestors have to do 40 days and 40 night fasting, they have to get away with family. They got to get away from family, from people. They have to go in the wilderness where there's nobody. And they will stay there, they'll focus, and the Messiah will come to them. Because the Messiah, like when you are alone, there's no distraction. Somewhere there's no electricity, nothing will disturb the nature. Wilderness doesn't mean in the desert. Wilderness means where there's no people live there. Okay? You go to the top of a mountain, you stay there 40 days, 40 nights, you pray. You won't even know if it will is 40 days and 40 nights, brothers. Or you go into a cave, you won't even know. 40 days would be like probably like 40 minutes. You have to be in solitude because if you are at home, phone will ring. The kids are out there talking really loud. Somebody knock on the door. Something fell you. The damn cats are running over. Somebody send an email. Something will happen. But when you're in the wilderness, your phone is at home and everything. You just go there. There's nothing. You just sit on top of a mountain. You're praying. 40 days will pass like it was 40, 40 minutes. That's why when Moses went on top of the mountain. To him, he only spent like somewhere around like 40 minutes, like an hour. But to the people, it's been so long forever. It's been forever, man. It's like, yo, it's just like, where, where is Moses? He's not coming back. Our God abandoned us. Let's worship another God. Yeah. So that is why when you're fasting, you have to call an angel, you know, to strengthen you, Gabriel or Abedel. The word Ebedel is just a, a word for an angel. That's not the exact name. You might know it Ebedel as Ebedel, the rock angel. Somebody know it as Gabriel, the strength angel. Okay. Yeah, so that's what that is. I believe we have a fair amount of people with us, brothers and sisters. Isaiah 60, verse 22. Okay. We, we, we may be... Um, we may be a small nation, but we're a strong nation. Okay. Uh, one of us is a thousand. All right. There you go. Give me a second. Uh, hello? Good.
Okay. Hello, nation. Hello, family. This is your sister from New York. I've been I'm calling to say, since I started watching uh, Big Levi and Big Judah, just been praying, praying in the spirit, reading some of the Third Testament. So many positive things have been happening. But today, I was in a meeting at work, and my sister-in-law texts me. Good news. You guys have been praying for me. I went to the doctor today and the cancer is 93% gone. So this prayer, these prayers that we're doing, these fasting today, I fasted with the nation till 12. These fasting, these prayers, family, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, continue to pray. What does, what do you say? Pray fast, repent, repeat family, let's not let go of the hand of the Most High God. I give him the glory, the honor, and the praise. Hey, sister, that is so great. Thank you for bringing us this uh, uh, testimony. There are so many things that happen um, today. That is why it is very important for our people to do this. So now, uh, the the co- that was your cousin or your niece? My sister-in-law. My sister-in-law. Your sister-in-law. So she... um. She stayed in the same place with you. What 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 was um... no? <laughs> I listen. I'm you and I are the same people. Okay, memun mempeya memun. So I'm from Haiti, yeah. but I'm married. My husband is Puerto Rican. His sister lives in Puerto Rico, and she from the time she got this diagnosis, I tell you, depression and just despair. But big Levi, we've been praying. We've been praying every morning seven. 7 a.m. We prayed together. You know, when I read the third testament and it said, you know, you should pray, petition uh the throne of the throne of grace, intercede. And I said, Lord, I am interceding for my sister in law, but I took it a step further, interceding for others who are sick. You know, I'm in the healthcare field, I work in nursing. And I see sickness every day, but you can see the difference between people who are coming into this walk, people who are believing, who are saying, you know what, whether you heal me or not, this is my, I I give you my life. You do what you want with it. And so I'm just so grateful because when we begin to connect to who we are, that spiritual portion of who we are, there's a lot of great things that are going to happen. There are a lot of great things. Thank you, sister, for this testimony. Thank you so much, okay? Yes, yes, okay. Shalom. Bye-bye. Brothers and sisters, there you go, man. There you go. So that's what that is, man. That's why your prayers, they have uh, powers in it. You have to keep praying. You have to keep fasting, man. That's the only thing. Look, once you do this, brethren, it, everything will follow. Everything will follow. You will know the next step. You'll know, okay, now I got to do this. Now the most I going to tell me to do this. Yes. Okay. That's why we have to um, uh, um, do this because when our people, the reason, you know, she, she went to the doctor and the doctor said the, the cancer is over 90% gone. Because we, we've been praying. There is a holy one in the midst of this family. There's a holy one in there. That's why you have to keep praying, brothers. Our Father's marvelous, man. You have to keep praying. You have to circumcise your heart and cover your heart. Come with your whole heart. Don't come with deceit. Some people like to do this. They come with deceit. When I say deceit, like, you know for a fact, you don't believe in the Messiah. You believe in your white Jesus and then somebody interfere for you and ask, because the most I know we can do that. We can interfere for other people. Okay. He does this and then he look upon the person heart. If the person heart is good, good, good. Yeah. Our father is great. So brothers and sisters, that is it's very important for you to fast, pray, repent, repeat. All right. Let us pray unto the Most High. Let us pray. Let us give him all glory. Let us ask him for forgiveness, brothers. Okay? Let us repent for everything that we, we think we know. For Let us repent for repent from our pride, our arrogance, our delusion, everything. Okay? Oh, don't... Brother Manolo, trust me, man. It's just those people... I just... 
Look, I could have done this two. I could have done this two version, like uh, four version. I could have done this in English and French to warn my, my people and Creole to warn them to and Spanish to warn them and uh, 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 um, well, German, not German, Dutch to warn the all people. But I'm not. I told the Mosai, should I do this? The Mosai say, calm down, wait. Wait, he told me to wait. That's why I mean, those people are in love with those things. So that's why I don't, I only do this English. I can do this like many, many things. But then again, like I say, I only work when the most I tell me to do something. Brothers, let us repent from our pride, from our delusion, from our arrogance, from our mistake, brothers. Let us do this, okay? Again, uh, you're going to hear the, 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 the phone ring and stuff, people are gonna call. That's why we really need to go, you know. Um, uh, we we really need to go uh, in the wilderness so we can pray to the Most High, so we won't be disturbed. All right, all right, brothers. Okay, all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Earthly Mother, sanctifying Yahweh Shai, the Holy Son. The God that created the heaven, the earth, and everything in them. The God of Adam, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The horrible and terrible God, our God. Father, hear our prayers. Father, we are praying you because we are definitely afraid of you. We are fearing your awesome power. Father, forgive us for our sins. Forgive us for our forefathers' sins. Forgive us for the sins that our ancestor committed. Father, we repent, we resent everything that we did, our arrogance, our pride, our delusion, our state of mind that making us think we can do everything in our own, even worse, the state of mind that think that we need another God other than you to help us do things. Father, we're praying you, we repent from all the sin that we committed in the past, the sin of Abraham's father, Abraham's father, Terah. Father, we have our heart uncovered. We have our hearts circumcised. We come with our full heart, and we are praying to you. We are praying, Father, so we can live, so we can find deliverance. We know for a fact, once we are doing this, we are going to get under a lot of spiritual attacks. But we are willing to pay this price. We are willing to pay all those prices, getting attacked all the time to give you glory, to magnify your name. To make sure we say with our mouth that our father is the greatest, the boss of bosses. Beside him, there's no God. He created everything. Everything else is garbage in front of our father. You cannot reach this man. You barely can reach the, the stratosphere. The stratosphere. You barely can touch the firmament, the strongest element known to man. You cannot break there. You cannot get there. That's how awesome our Father is. Father, we are praying you. We're thanking you for this miracle that you pulled, this blessing that you give this sister and her sister-in-law. We thank you for bringing us this uh, testimony. Those are confirmation upon confirmation. Thank you for bringing this. Father, we know for a fact you, if we our children fast, pray, repeat, repeat unto you, they have the heart uncovered. They do not hide any sin that they have. They are sinless in your eyes. You will cure them. Father, just like you touch, you eliminate this cancer from this sister. We're asking you, we are praying you for this brother over there that had a stroke. A brother Jeffrey that had a, a stroke, the nephew of one of the sisters. May you move upon him. May you have Raphael go over there and move upon the brother and cure him. She also has a godson which suffered a mild heart attack. May you move upon the brother and cure him forever and eliminate and bind whatever demons that is messing with the beloved brother's health. May you move upon all our brothers and sisters, that sister that have a mother in dialysis, just like the other sister went 
and then they remove whatever device she had in her. She's no longer in dialysis. All praises to the Most High. All praises to you. Father, we're asking you to cure the nation. Let Raphael know to move upon the nation. Give us this ability again when we can touch a member, a sick, a healed person, and that person is just returned back to normal. Give us again the power to make the blind see, to make the dumb talk, to make the mental illness go away. Father, we're all praying you for this sister that has a territorial demon that has been tormenting us and harassing her for the past 15 years. We're asking you to have swift judgment upon this demon. We're asking you to send your best archangel after this demon and put him to rest. This demon has no right to come upon the loin of the sister. Deal with him properly. Father, we are praying you for the beloved sister Sharon. You know our people, we don't have that much, Father. Some of us only got one transportation mode. And we are asking you, Father, if it is your will to move upon whoever is the mechanic to have a reasonable price, a reasonable um, bargain for her so that they could repair her transportation mode so she can go on and give you more praises. We know for a fact, every time we are going to fasting, praying, some bull always happen. Those are all spiritual attacks. When you agree to enter a contract with the Mosai, the demons will do anything and everything to discourage you and make you break whatever covenant you make with the Mosai. We are calling upon Ebedel. May she come as a witness. As the sister came in and she gave this testimony, may maybe there be a witness unto that. So the others that are listening, whether they are listening now and they will listen in the future, they will understand that Father is great, Father is marvelous, is wonderful, he is powerful. Most our Father, we know for a fact those Gentiles are out there. They're on war mode. We know for a fact that you're setting them up for a great fall. We only ask you, Father, to see this great fall sooner than later. These people are so proud. They got too much pride. They refuse to acknowledge who we are. They refuse to acknowledge who you are. They refuse to acknowledge reality itself. Move upon them, Father. Bring destruction, calamity. Bring all destruction. Some of us are hoping for bloodbath because we have the right to do so. Because of the thing those people put us under. You did give us the 400 years slavery. They were supposed to do this to some of us. The one that the wicked one. They took all your children. They destroyed them over and over. They over destroyed them. They went overboard. Father, we want justice for your people. You are a just and fair God. You do not lie. That's why we don't take your name and your covenant very uh, lightly. We took it very, very seriously. Father, we will ask you to stretch your hand upon our enemy. Destroy them. Send them more calamity. Send them more hell. Send them more trouble. Send them more uh, uh, Esau's trouble. Send them the full 10 plagues of the apocalypse of Abraham. Amplify everything upon those people. Destroy them. As we can see, as we saw, Father, right after the great conjunction, things are getting worse. And we're, still, we're not even in 2021 yet. And March will be in 2021, but we got at least 50 more days before that. What could possibly happen in 50 days? What could possibly happen in six days before we reach the so-called inauguration? Father, we are praying for all our brothers and sisters to bless them. Bless and protect the beloved brother, Big Judah, Elder Ayer, Elder Kadash, Abdullah Seer, Brother Daniel, all the brothers, all the sisters, the beloved sister Lisa, Lisa Cabrera, Ancient Gardener, Rebecca Judaya, Rebecca, Dina, Dinah, Sister Sharon, 
all the prayer warriors, all the fasting warriors that sister who called, her sister-in-law, all of us, brothers, all of us, all of us, sisters that are praying now, bless and protect them. Give them more strength to go into battle. Because we know for a fact those the enemy is on the run. They don't know what to do. The people are watching our prayers. They are watching our podcasts. They're watching our videos. They're all over reading our comment, posing as us sometimes. They're trying to imitate us and take their glory for themselves. Father, you say this in the great book and the great message that you are ready to cancel debt. You are ready to open the gate, the windows of heaven, and cause men to give unto us. We know you're going to keep your pro promise. Do not give us unto reproach, Father. Make this prophecy come alive and come true. Let the substance start flowing in the midst of us so our people will rest at home and have time to praise you and study and seek your face. Take all the money from the wicked and give it to us and destroy those people. Father, we are fasting. May Abedel be here as a witness. May you have respect until the sun go down for the people that are fasting for one day and some of us who are fasting for three days for the protection for our people to magnify your name and give you all glory and all praises and for the destruction of our enemy. Thank you for having respect on our fast. Thank you for all the miracles, all the things you've been doing for the nation as a whole or individual. Thank you. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. To the earthly mother, we say thank you, mother. Thank you for all the knowledge all the comprehension that you've given us. We atone all our sins against you, Mother. Absorb our sins. Take our sins away. Clean us. Give us clean bath. Forgive us for our sins. Forgive us for our forefathers' sins. Forgive the people that us, did us wrong for their sins. The ones that have their hearts uncovered. May you bring the lost sheep of the house of Israel in the midst of us and treat them like you're treating us. May you protect us like a mama bear. We understand, Holy Spirit, Mother, that you move upon any flesh, all flesh, whether they are men, women, and beasts. You open their mouth, you make them talk. We're asking you, Earthly Mother, to move upon the nation, all of us, Show us how we can acquire Father's power physically. We can put our hand upon the sick and heal them. Show us how we can do things. Show us how we can acquire certain things, certain artifacts that uh, our ancestors had. What we may have them right now, but we don't know what they are. Give us the knowledge to find them and to use them for the betterment of the nation and for the, most importantly, for the glory of the Most High. Thank you. Prayer to the angels, to all the angels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Yuyo, all the angels who know their names and the angels who do not know their name, we say thank you. Thank you for doing Father's work. Thank you for sticking by his side. And thank you for everything that you've been doing for us. Raphael, the angel of wind and message, come quickly now. Take all our prayers. The one that are praying now and the one that will pray in the future and bring them to Father. Tell him we thank him for restoring the covenant with us. Thank you for having his face turning towards us and we repent from everything that we did wrong. May he send and keep the angels in the midst of us. May he resolve all our issues effortless. May he resolve all our pain and, and trouble and send great substance upon the family, the one that have the faith, the one that is here for, for, for his glory. May he send the substance so our people can be at physical peace at home and have a peace of mind. We already have the spiritual peace. We need the peace of, or the financial peace so we can stay at home with our family and worship him properly while the entire world is getting destroyed. Go now. So be it. Selah, the will of the Father will be done as it is in the heaven, so in the earth. 
Amen. Yes, sell our brothers. The will of the Father will be done. The will of the Father will be done. You cannot go upon the Father's loin. Okay, so brothers, keep guard. As you all in this fast, you're going to suffer a lot of spiritual attack, okay? For those of you that are in this fast or like one, okay, um, one day, okay, when the suns go down, we'll certify it. For those of you that are for three days, you still got a lot to go. Remember, and then those three days, the second day is the most dangerous day, okay? One, two, three, all praises to the most high, brothers and sisters. All praises, man. All praises. Give the most high all praises and all glory. It will make your cancer go away. If you need us to pray for you, brothers, please humble yourself, fast, uncover your heart, repent from all your sin, and call upon those prayer warriors. We are here. We will help you. We'll do everything that we can. I am not the one that will refuse any prayers. I, I This is not my job. I cannot tell you I'm going to have the nation pray for this or pray for that. That's not my job. My job is to follow orders, and my orders is tell my children, be at peace. There will be no Jacob's trouble. Bring them peace. Help them. Make them sure. Make them uh, assured that my face is towards them. Show them that what I'm going to do to the Gentiles, because the Gentiles will take this and say, "Look what happened to everybody. Look what happened to us. Oh, they did this to us. No, nope, they did that to you and you alone. By the power of the Most High vested in me, and He can take it anytime He feel like. I'm leaving all of you in peace. Be at peace, brothers and sisters. May the Most High send you." Peace of mind, spirit, body, and soul, and great substance. All right, brothers? Let us be at peace. Shalom. I'll see you um, later on for the podcast at 7 p.m. If the Mosai allows it. All right? Shalom.